big breaking news. The FA in talks with Thomas Tuchel over becoming England manager. Yeah, hi there. Welcome along to Lunchtime Live. We are, we are going to get straight to this exclusive from our senior reporter, Rob Dorset, who joins me now. Rob, uh, this is a big, big breaking news story. Just tell us, what do we know? Well, it is significant news, isn't it? Bearing in mind that for the last couple of days, the media has been awash with talk about Pep Guardiola potentially becoming the new England manager. My understanding is that is very unlikely to happen. And in fact, that Thomas Tuchel, the former Bayern in Munich manager, the former Paris Saint-Germain manager, the former Chelsea manager, of course, is now in pole position to take over from Gareth Southgate uh, as England manager. My understanding is the FA is in talks with his representatives as things, speak, as things uh, stand and that the German coach is in pole position uh, to become the next England manager. He's been out of work since May, of course, when he, when he left Bayern Munich. And we reported two weeks ago that there'd been no formal approach from the FA for Tuchel or indeed for a number of the other leading candidates, which we named at the time as Jurgen Klopp, Graham Potter and Eddie Howe. My understanding is that situation has now changed and the FA has accelerated their search for a new manager in recent times, in recent days, after that Nations League defeat for England against Greece. And in truth, after some pretty confused messaging from the interim manager, Lee Carsley, uh, about his future. Um, but significant news, big news, that England are in talks with the German coach, Thomas Tuchel, to become the next potential England manager. Our understanding is that uh, uh, if he was to get the job, of course, he would uh, be only the third non-English man to take charge of the men's England national team after Sven Juren Oates and... and uh, uh, and, and, uh, and, 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 and that sort of thing. So a really significant story, Joe, and I'm sure there'll be further developments from this point. Yeah, and just explain a little bit more, Rob, in terms of what kind of fit this would be and, and why he would be such an appeal for, for the England Well, job. we talked a lot about the differing perspectives from Mark Bullingham, the FA Chief Executive, and John McDermott, the FA Technical Director. Um, and my understanding was that Mark Bullingham would ideally have liked an English or a, certainly a homegrown uh, coach to take over as the men's uh, national manager. Uh, but John McDermott wants somebody who's going to win England a trophy. That's ultimately how he will be judged. And he thinks this group of players, this generation of players, is good enough to win um, a, a, a major international trophy. They've come very, very close on the Gareth Southgate, of course. And so he wanted a winner. And Thomas Tuchel fits that bill, doesn't he? If you look at what he's won in his club career with Paris Saint-Germain, with Chelsea, uh, with Bayern Munich, it, it is quite extraordinary the record that he's had you have to say he's won the champions league he's won the the league earn title he's won the bundesliga title um he's won the super cup he's won the fifa club world cup as well as well as a host of domestic trophies there's the list of what he's achieved look and i don't think there's any argument to say that thomas tuchel is a is a man who wins trophies wherever he's been in the game and he's still relatively young only at 51 as well uh, and so the the hope is that they can uh, he can re re reproduce that success and bring some silverware to the men's English national team, of course. But it will be controversial because he's a foreigner, because he's German in particular and the rivalry between England and Germany. I think that will be controversial with a large number of England fans, potentially with the media as well. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. These are talks. Um, he is in pole position is the way it's been described to me. But there's still quite a lot of ground they've got to cover in terms of his contract, negotiations between Thomas Tuchel's representatives and the FA. So this is not a done deal, but it's a significant move forward in England's search for a new manager. And of course, there's also the Tuchel and Harry Kane connection, the fact that Tuchel uh, managed Kane to the best goal-scoring season of his career at Bayern. Do you think that has been a factor at all? I don't think it's a direct factor, but it's certainly a help. It's certainly going to be uh, in his favour, Tuchel, if he gets the job, because he knows the England captain so very, very well. And we know how important the England captain is to this England team, on the pitch and off the pitch. He is the leader in both spheres, isn't he? Um, and I don't think it's any coincidence, particularly, that Harry Kane didn't play when England lost in that Nations League game last week to Greece. Um, and the two men are very, very close. Harry Kane's been very uh, fulsome in his praise of Thomas Tuchel uh, and the job that he's done when he was at Bayern Munich and how close the, the, two, the working relationship was between the two. So that can only be in Tuchel's favour. It can only be in Harry Kane's favour. It can only be a positive as far as the FA are concerned when they're considering who they might want to give this job to. And you make the point that 
Harry Kane likes playing under Thomas Tuchel as well. His, his record goal-scoring season, the best scoring season he's ever had in his career, look. Um, and that proves the point, doesn't it? Uh, 45 games, 44 of those starts, 44 goals under Thomas Tuchel at Bayern Munich in that record-breaking season for Harry Kane. And so there's no doubt that it would be a very positive appointment from the England captain's point of view if the FA get Thomas Tuchel over the line. And you mentioned some of the clubs that Tuchel has mentioned, some huge domestic clubs. You also mentioned the fact he's only 51. In terms of what is next for Tuchel, has there been any indication at all from him that he is interested in an international job? Well, he, he's, he's spoken a couple of times about international football. Not recently, I think we need to point out. Um, in November 2022, on the eve of England playing in the World Cup, he was actually interviewed about that because, remember, Gareth Southgate had indicated that he might not want to stay on as England manager then. So there was a lot of discussion back in just before Christmas and, and the World Cup. Uh, in, in Qatar in 2022 and uh, Thomas Tuchel was asked about it and his response I thought was interesting. He said, quote, I think England has a good coach right now but he also said the team is very, very strong and very talented. I think they will have a good campaign. As for everything else, I will not comment. So he's certainly an admirer of the, the riches of talent at uh, the disposal of whoever takes over as England manager. I'm sure that's what has appealed to him here and having left Bayern Munich in strange circumstances, you have to say, in the spring, um, this would be an interesting step for him in his coaching career, wouldn't it? Because you tend to think of England managers and national team managers being in the latter stages of their career. If, if the FA can get Thomas Tuchel over the line, it wouldn't be that. He's still very much on his prime. His CV is extraordinary. He's been at three of the biggest clubs in European club football and he's won trophies at all of them. So an interesting decision for him if he does actually sign on the dotted line. But just to reiterate the story we're bringing you this lunchtime on Sky Sports News, we do understand that talks are progressing between Thomas Tuchel and the English FA with a view to him potentially becoming the next England manager. OK, so talks progressing. I guess the question now in terms of a timeline, what does happen now? Well, again, from the FA's perspective, there's no absolute rush for this because the World Cup qualifiers, which are the next really important games for England, don't start until March. But I think after what's happened in the media in the last couple of days in particular, but the last few weeks in truth as well, questioning whether Lee Carsley wants the job, whether he's going to take the job, what the FA's thoughts are, what is their process, because they've always maintained uh, the FA, whenever I've tried to speak to them about this or any other journalist, they will keep absolute confidentiality around this process. They will make no comment whatsoever. Um, so I think from their perspective, they'd like to get this matter done and dusted. They'd like to have some clarity for the fans from the FA organisation point of view. Remember, it is the most important job, the highest profile job in, in English football coaching. Uh, it is a figurehead position. It's an ambassadorial role as well. It's an important role for them to fill. And I think this limbo that they've been in with Lee Carsley in interim charge and, and the fact that in recent times and in this international break it's become increasingly obvious that it's not going to be his job in the long term that's left everybody in lingo not least the England players themselves so I think they'd like to get it resolved as soon as is practically possible it could happen pretty quickly if they can reach agreement in these negotiations I understand it was suggested to me that maybe Thomas Tuchel was still on gardening leave after uh, leaving Bayern Munich in May and that there might be some compensation to pay for the FA. My understanding is there is no compensation to pay, so there's no barrier there and there has been no contact between the FA and Bayern Munich, I believe. Um, but it's a really, really interesting story and it could happen reasonably quickly from now. It certainly could happen, Joe, if the two sides can agree in time for England's next Nations League games, which are next month. Could we see a German coach in charge of the England men's national team as soon as next month. It's an extraordinary possibility. Yeah, absolutely. Rob, for now, thank you very much.